Welcome to Tech Blueprint, a window that lets you know the latest technology news in the world. Speaking of chip manufacturing, the hot topic recently is can SMIC surpass TSMC through EUV lithography? Many people think that as long as EUV is available, SMIC can level the technical threshold and become the world's leading chip foundry. But in fact, this road is not as smooth as imagined, and it can even be said to be very difficult. Let's talk about the magic of EUV lithography first. This device is known as the crown jewel of semiconductor manufacturing. It uses extreme ultraviolet light with a wavelength of 13.5 nanometers to carve out more sophisticated circuit structures suitable for 7 nanometers, 5 nanometers, and even 2 nanometers advanced processes. Unfortunately, only ASML in the Netherlands can produce this equipment in the world, and each unit costs more than 150 million US dollars. More importantly, EUV lithography is not only expensive, but also not something that can be bought with money. SMIC currently does not have EUV lithography technology due to technical limitations and geopolitical reasons, and it is difficult to buy it from ASML. But even if SMIC successfully conquers EUV lithography technology one day, can it break the status quo? The answer is, the difficulty is still huge. Samsung and Intel are the best examples. Both companies have EUV lithography machines, but their chip foundry business is still suppressed by TSMC. Samsung has been unable to achieve stable mass production due to yield issues, and Intel has been lagging behind in technology for many years and cannot compete with TSMC in chip foundry. EUV is just a tool, the key lies in how to use it. Chip manufacturing is a whole complex industrial chain, and one device alone cannot change anything. The more realistic problem is the market structure. TSMC is not only a technology leader, but also the preferred foundry for major global customers. Apple, NVIDIA, Qualcomm, AMD and other companies occupy most of the market share of advanced chips, and the cooperation between these companies and TSMC has long formed a solid tacit understanding. Even if SMIC's technology catches up, it will be difficult for it to shake TSMC's customer base. After all, it is difficult for these European and American companies to transfer their orders to Chinese manufacturers. SMIC's main customers are still domestic chip design companies, but they still have a big gap compared with international giants in terms of technical strength and market share. Of course, SMIC is not without advantages. As China's largest chip manufacturer, it is backed by national policy support, 
and its funds and talent reserves are very sufficient. The huge demand in the domestic market, especially in the fields of consumer electronics and automotive chips, provides SMIC with a stable growth space. More importantly, the Chinese government is making every effort to promote the autonomy of the semiconductor industry chain. It won't be long before SMIC's technology may gradually narrow the gap with TSMC. However, the road to catching up with TSMC is destined to be long. Chip Foundry is a culmination of capital, manpower and technology. Every technological breakthrough requires huge investment and time accumulation. It took TSMC more than 30 years from its establishment in 1987 to becoming the industry leader. If SMIC wants to shorten this time gap, it needs not only hard work, but also a little luck. Therefore, even if SMIC masters the EUV lithography machine, it does not mean that it can easily surpass TSMC. EUV is just a small step towards advanced technology, not the end. In the future, SMIC needs to solve not only technical problems, but also multiple challenges brought by market competition and international relations. But what is certain is that the growth rate and determination of this company have made it a force that cannot be ignored in the global chip manufacturing field. The progress of science and technology has never been achieved overnight. It is more like a marathon, competing for endurance and accumulation. SMIC may not be able to replace TSMC in a short time, but every step of its progress is injecting confidence and hope into China's semiconductor industry. How it will develop in the future, we will wait and see. In short, SMIC's desire to surpass TSMC with EUV lithography faces challenges in technology, market and international relations. EUV is just a tool that requires the support of the entire industry chain. SMIC has policy and financial advantages and it has a long way to go to catch up and grow into an important force in China's semiconductor industry.